Good morning, my name is Father Rayapa. Today I'm going to talk about the season of creation. Um, along with that, I'm going to also discuss about the big shift, uh, which means that uh, stop funding uh, oil companies and uh, divest, that is the word. Um, actually, divestment is opposite to investment. So stop investing. It may be bonds, it may be stocks. Uh, come out and pull your support from the oil uh, companies and start investing that money to create renewable energy like solar, wind, geothermal, um, water energy. Uh, so there we can invent a lot of new technologies uh, which will not harm the planet. So anyway, let us talk about the big shift. We must regain, this is the quote from uh, Jim Yong Kim, who is the president of the World Bank Group. So here is the quote, we must regain the sense of urgency. We all felt on the eve of Cobb, 21, that is C-O-P, that is Paris Convention. Inaction means we will not meet our targets set in Paris and the global temperature will soar about 2 degrees Celsius. That would spell disaster for us, for our children and for the planet. So that is the quote from Jim Yong Kim the president of the World Bank Group. The World Bank is a provider of financial and technical assistance to developing countries around the globe. It is made up of the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, that is IBRD, and the International Development Association, the abbreviation is IDA, a body that gives interest-free loans to governments of developing countries. The World Bank Group includes three other institutions. The World Bank says that climate change is disproportionately affecting the poorest people on the planet and it states that its goal is to end extreme poverty at the global level within a generation. However, it still supports projects that contribute further to the release of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, accelerating global warming and worsening climate change. The World Bank Group has consistently invested a significant portion of its energy investments in fossil fuels. Between 2011 and 2015, it invested a staggering 12.9 billion, that means 13 billion dollars in oil, gas and coal. This compares to 10.4 billion in clean energy projects over the same period. Oil Change International estimates that the World Bank Group invested more than 313 million in fossil fuel exploration in 2015 and a total of 1.7 billion dollars between 2011 and 2015. In short, the World Bank has been contributing to further financing of coal-fired power stations, locking countries into high carbon pathways. Big shift challenges this continued funding of the fossil fuels that are causing damaging climate change by demanding urgent change in the World Bank policies on energy investment and a big shift towards investing in renewables. The World Bank 
through its investment choices, must keep ensure we create a future where everyone has access to affordable, decentralized renewable energy so that there is no longer a reliance on fossil fuels for energy. To do this, it must phase out all investment in fossil fuels and urgently increase its focus on renewable energy and energy access. The World Bank needs to align its energy strategy with its climate change action plan, including much greater transparency on the carbon footprint of its funding and about what the impact of their investments in energy are having on the lives of ordinary people. The Climate Change Action Plan must align its investments and lending with the Paris investments and lending with their agreements 1.5 degrees Celsius temperature rise limit. During the Paris Agreement, that is COP, COP21, the World Bank Group committed to five principles of mainstreaming climate into their operations, including helping countries develop green project pipelines, adequately pricing carbon and phasing out fossil fuel subsidies and restricting lending to fossil fuel projects. This need to be implemented every year, several countries undergo a revision of their country strategies. This is an opportunity to start the process of getting financial flows to align with the Paris Agreement and Agenda 2030. Public finance also acts as a reliable signal to the private sector, which holds the trillions of dollars we want to unlock and reduce risk for investors. The World Bank needs to step up its support for energy access initiatives to get power and clean fuel to the energy pool, though this remains a very small part of their overall energy portfolio, but it will be essential to increase this proportion of spending to reach over 1 billion people still living without access to modern energy. The big shift identifies that the World Bank needs to, number one, phase out support for fossil fuels by 2020. Number two, provide public finance to help meet the 1.5 uh, centigrade uh, limit and zero carbon by 2050. Number three, ensure better data on all their energy investments is available, make the carbon emissions of their funding portfolios publicly available and set clear targets to reduce the carbon footprint, footprint of their investments and their exposure to climate risk. Number four, support developing countries to achieve their greenhouse gas reduction commitments by phasing out financial for fossil fuels and instead prioritizing financial support for delivery of the low carbon elements of nationally determined contributions. Number five, support developing countries to achieve universal access to energy giving priority to promoting greater private and public investment in decentralized and off-grid renewable energy projects. Number six, development policy finance must be used to incentive, incentivize renewables, not fossil fuels. During this uh, season of creation, we will be encouraging individuals to email the presidents of the whole world, especially the president of uh, the big ship, Jim Yong Kim, and ask him to stop funding dirty energy 
once and for all. You will also be able to email your regional World Bank Executive Director to double your impact. Above all, you can write letters to American President Donald Trump and don't forget United Nations, Amnesty International and World Bank International Monetary Fund and World Court and also the presidents of your respective countries and to the Prime Minister and the Chief Minister about this big ship campaign and um, uh, advise them to come out of the fossil fuel uh, use and recommend uh, to these presidents that we should invest a lot of money to find out the renewable energy sources. I mean, if you find renewables, I think we may not wreck our planet. But if you continue to burn the fossil fuels as business as usual, I think our planet has no chance. I hope you will also join in the big ship campaign. That means don't fund any oil companies. Pull out your support uh, in stocks. If you are supporting through stocks or bonds or some other commitments, it's a time to pull them out. And that is called uh, divestment and you invest it in creation of uh, uh, renewable energy sources. Okay, okay, have a nice day, bye.